All right, so I've got some examples I'm going to do graphing a cotangent function. Uh, each example will have its own video, so be sure to check them out check them all out. Uh, they'll be just kind of like maybe a normal one uh, and then you know something like cotangent of you know 3x, 5x, something like that. And then we'll have one where it's going to shift left or right and then we'll have another one where it shifts left or right and it shifts up and down. So be sure to check them out. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is look at some guidelines. So the first thing we do is find and sketch two adjacent asymptotes. So for cotangent, we know the cotangent, just regular cotangent x, is undefined at 0 and pi. And that's what the two vertical asymptotes here are. Okay. And then what we do is we divide we divide it into four equal parts. So once you get your two adjacent asymptotes, and in this case, zero and pi, so so to find the asymptotes, let me say a little bit more about that. You, you take whatever you're taking the cotangent of, you're gonna set that equal to zero, and you're gonna set that equal to pi. And then you'll you'll solve for x, and you'll see that better in the in the, in the examples that we do. And so then once you have your two adjacent asymptotes, and in this case 0 to pi, we split this, this interval here into four equal regions. So what we did is we took 0 and pi and we found the midpoint, which is pi over 2. And then we took the 0 and the pi over 2 and found the midpoint there, pi over 4. And we took the pi over 2 and the pi and found the midpoint there, 3 pi over 4. And I'm going to show you all the work on how to do this as we're working the example. And then we plot our points. So what you've got to remember with uh, cotangent is when you plot the points, that's why it's so important to get these values here. Because the first value here starts out at 1 and then it goes to 0 and then it goes to negative 1. It's going to work like that every time. No matter what these numbers are, when you find these numbers it's 1, 0, negative 1 and then we just sketch in the graph. Okay, So let's take a look at, some exam at an example. Alright, so here's our third example. A graphing cotangent. Alright, so to graph cotangent, we need to find the two adjacent asymptotes. And then we need to break that up into four regions. So to do that, we take this part, the x minus pi over 4, what we're taking the cotangent of, and we set that equal to 0 and we set it equal to whoop, to pi. Okay, So this is how you graph the cotangent. Uh, if you need to know how to graph tangent, got a video on that, you can check that out. But we set it equal to 0 and pi. That gives us our two adjacent asymptotes. And then we solve, so we're going to add pi over 4 to both sides. And so that gives us x equals pi over 4. And then here we'll add pi over 4 to both sides. And so that will give us x. Whoop. So that will give us x equals, and that's going to be 5 pi over 4. So these are our two adjacent asymptotes. Okay, we've got x equal pi over four and x equal five pi over four. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this to give me some give me some more room. All right. So let's graph cotangent. So let's draw our xy coordinates and let's plot on there the p 
pi over 4 and the 5 pi over 4 and draw in our vertical asymptotes all right so we need to break this up into four equal regions so we need the midpoint between pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 so we need this point here so to find that all we do is take the pi over 4 and add it to the 5 pi over 4 and that is going to give us 6 pi over 4 okay so just remember to find the midpoint between two points you just add them together and divide by 2 and so now I'll need to take the 6 pi over 4 and half it so I can multiply it times 2 and then you can see here the 2 and the 6 cancel I'm left with 3 so that's going to give me 3 pi over 4 so this is the midpoint here 3 pi over 4 and now I need the midpoint between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 so pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4 is 4 pi over 4 which that equals pi and then if I half that well that's just pi over 2 so the midpoint here would be pi over 2 let me write that better and then I need the midpoint between 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 so I've got 3 pi over 4 plus 5 pi over 4 is 8 pi over 4 which equals 2 pi so if I half that so that's just halving it divided by 2 that is pi and so the midpoint here would be pi all right so now let's look at this all right so now I'm ready to draw this so let's look at let's mark this off one two three and let's do negative one negative two negative three okay so first let's just don't even don't even look at the negative two right now just pretend like it's not there okay so the cotangent, and forget about the negative right now. Don't even worry about that either. So cotangent, it has a 1 in front of it. And remember, with cotangent, it goes 1, 0, negative 1. Okay, that's, what these, that's why you find these points, 1, 0, negative 1. So cotangent starts out at 1, okay, but this case it has a negative in front of it so instead of positive 1 we're going to be here at negative 1 okay and then the other thing we look at now the negative 2 so it goes to negative 1 because of the negative in front and then when I do the negative 2 add the negative 2 well negative 2 and negative 1 is negative 3 so I'm going to be down here at negative 3. And then remember, cotangent goes to 0. And because it's at 0, the negative in front right here really doesn't matter. And then if I do negative 2 plus 0, that goes to negative 2. And then we start, and then it goes to where? Negative 1. So remember, 1, 0, negative 1. So we're here at negative 1, but because of the negative in front of cotangent, we're at positive 1. Okay? The negative in front of the cotangent flips it up here to 1. And then we've got the negative 2 in front, so negative 2 plus 1, that's going to be what? Negative 1. And so we have our point here. And so our graph is going to look something like this.
this. And there's your graph. Alright, so check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.